welcome back. This week we will be doing the ultimate glute workout. I will be giving you all of my tips and tricks on how to structure your leg days in order to build that booty. Bear with me today as I'm filming because I'm unfortunately a little bit unwell. I just really wanted you guys to be able to see this video so I'm going to try and push through this sore throat that I have and help you guys out with your leg days. There are three things we need to talk about first before we go into the actual workout today. Surprisingly, the first one is so much more important than actually going to the gym and doing your workout. You need to be eating enough calories, AKA you need to be bulking. The only way that we can actually build muscle is if we are bulking, eating more calories than our maintenance. That's how we build and grow muscle. But if your goal is to grow your booty or grow your legs or your hamstrings, whatever area you'd like to grow, you need to be eating more calories first of all. Otherwise, you're just not fueling your body in order to build that muscle. The second one is progressively overloading. So this is where you gradually increase the intensity of your workouts each week. And this can be either by increased reps or increasing the weight or supersetting, for example. By doing this, what we're doing is we're actually stressing the muscles and we're actually causing the muscle strands to tear. And this is what causes muscle growth further on. So we're causing these micro tears in the muscles by increasing the intensity that then enables the muscle to grow bigger. So that is why you need to be progressively overloading. The third one, that you need to be training until failure. If you are not training till failure, then you are not pushing yourself hard enough in your workouts. Then you are just simply not going to grow as much as you possibly could. Training to failure basically means when you are at the very end of your reps, heaviest weight, if you feel like, damn, that last rep was really, really difficult, I want you to go ahead and I want you to do another rep and then another one and another one until your body physically can't do the rep anymore. This way you're actually pushing yourself so hard that eventually your body will be able to do that larger weight, which basically just means that you are increasing the intensity as well. So it's a part of progressive overloading. But if you're not training to failure, honestly, you're just doing it wrong. Trust me. Okay, so let's get into the workout. Okay, so we are at the gym and first things first, we always need to do our warm up and mobility before we start. Warming up our muscles is so important to prevent injuries and mobility is really important for increasing our range of motion during our exercises. So I'm just doing some low lunges first just to stretch out my iliotibial band which is at the front of your leg. Then I'm moving over to the other side. Remember you only need to do about five seconds of stretching for your warm up for each exercise. We are then going to move into our hamstring stretch. So for this stretch we just need to point our toes towards the ceiling and then lean down into the leg. And again just for five seconds. Then I'm going to move down into my favourite mobility exercise. This is a low or deep squat. I like to sit here for a few seconds and then start moving from side to side. It just really helps to stretch out my hips. And personally, this is a must for me on every single leg day. Next, moving into bridges. You can't really see this exercise very well from this angle. But what I'm basically doing is tucking my tailbone underneath my bottom and then I'm making sure my back is straight and squeezing my glutes at the very top of the bridge. Finally, just some leg kicks. I love these. These really help me get going for my leg exercises. So just try to kick your legs up and down as far as you can. So first we're going to start off with our compound exercises. We have two compounds we're doing first. And the first one is squats. As you guys know, I absolutely hate squats, but I do them every single time and I show up for them anyway. Because of my hip dysplasia, I can't do hip thrusts, so squats and sumo deadlifts are often my substitutes. So we're going to start off by just warming up into this exercise by just doing an unloaded barbell for around 10 to 12 reps. You can do more if you like, but that's just what I prefer to do. Next, we're going to move on to our weighted barbell squats. Just make sure that the bar is even. I like to put it just above my trapezius muscle. This is just where it's most comfortable for me. In terms of form for this exercise, 
I'm a very long legged girl. So this just means that I have to have my feet wider than shoulder width. I always find it better if I point my toes outwards and I'm essentially slightly leaning forward into the squat. This is basically just because I can't bend my legs like other individuals. I have to slightly tilt forward in order to complete the squat. Second compound exercise that we're going into is RDLs. Absolutely love this workout. So a pro tip for me is to use the squat safety bars to load your barbell. This will prevent so much back pain and it's just so easy to do. So with RDLs, what you want to do is imagine that your hips are being pulled back. So you're not trying to move your back, you're not trying to move your arms. All you're trying to do is stretch out your glute muscles, bend your bottom backwards and bring your legs back up. We're also trying to achieve a slight bend in the knee, a very slight bend in the knee. Just a reminder, we are trying to keep a straight back, so do not go over your range of motion with this exercise. Next, we're moving on to our superset. And our first one is with the Smith machine, we're doing a sumo squat. Tip here is to put your feet past the bar. And what we're just going to do is our classic sumo squat. So feet are slightly pointed outwards. We're going to move down and then obviously move back up. We're making sure that we're contracting our core here. A little bit of advice from me when we're doing these movements is to try to breathe out when we are going down and breathe in as we are going up. It just helps you move that bar a bit easier. As you can see, I'm really struggling here and this is me nearly to the point of failure. We're gonna superset this with a good morning. These are so, so good and they really do activate the glutes. So all we're going to do is put our feet under the bar and then we are pushing backwards a lot like we do with RDLs and we are literally just pushing our bum backwards and pulling back up. Again, make sure your back is straight. We are not moving our back in this exercise. We are just moving our glutes. So now we're moving on to our isolation exercises. So this first one is just a glute hyperextension. So we want to make sure that the hip pads are actually under the creases of our hips or our pelvic bones. As you can see, I've just adjusted it here because it wasn't sitting properly on me. So just make sure you adjust it. Then you're going to grab a plate. You're going to hunch your back. So we're trying to deactivate the back muscles here. Then what we're going to do is we're just moving our glutes. All we want to do with this exercise is squeeze the glutes and you'll naturally move up. Aim is not to move the back at all. We are literally just squeezing the glutes and then relaxing so that our glutes stretch. So we are finishing with a unilateral movement. This is so, so important for the glute workout and I'll explain this a bit more later. But we are going to finish off with a gluteus medius kickback. So you're going to want to pull your cable machine all the way down to the bottom and then you're going to want to attach a strap to your leg and then to the machine. With your non-working leg, place it in line with the machine and then with your working leg you're just going to tuck your foot behind your non-working foot and you're essentially just trying to pull it out to the side at a 45 degree angle we're not moving our leg straight backwards we're trying to move our leg out to the side and this is what's going to target that gluteus medius which is to the side of the booty this way we're just making sure that we are targeting every single muscle in the glutes today then repeat on the other side i tried to do about eight reps for hypertrophy and that's the workout hi everyone i've just come back from the gym and I thought I would take you through how I usually structure my leg workouts so that you guys can basically go ahead and make your own workouts because I do think that everyone is different. Different things work for different people. So I really think like, don't just follow my workout but also try to figure out what works best for you and that way you'll definitely succeed. What I do when I form any type of workout is I use my specific structure. So I start off with two compound exercises. These are your exercises that work a number of muscles in the body and not just a single muscle. I always start off with compounds because they require the most energy because obviously there's more muscles involved. These are things like RDL, sumo deadlifts, squats, anything basically with a barbell that is training more than one muscle at once. Then I move on to my isolated exercises. So these are the exercises where you're targeting a specific muscle. 
So for example, in this workout, that is when we did the hyper extensions. Then I move on to a superset. So I personally like to do supersets because I like to increase the intensity of my workouts. I'd say if you're a beginner, maybe avoid supersets for now and do those when you become a little bit more advanced because they can really up the intensity of your workout. My superset in this workout today was obviously my Smith Machine Sumo Squat and Good Mornings. Uh, that's just personally something that I like to do. And then the last thing you want to incorporate into your workout, and you have to do this 100%, please, if you take anything away from this video, it is unilateral movements. You have to do unilateral movements. These are really important because basically they prevent any unevenness or any strength differences in left to right side of the body. So obviously our unilateral movement here was glute medius kickbacks. They're just really important, so please, please do not avoid your unilateral movements. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, so that's how I would personally structure my workouts. Obviously, with um, a warm up and mobility at the beginning and with a cool down at the end, those are also essential. The warm up is obviously very essential for making sure our muscles are ready to lift these weights. Mobility is important for increasing our range of motion. And the cool down is something that people often skip either because they're in a rush or they just don't enjoy the cool down but it's so important because it's going to prevent your muscles from aching, it's going to help our muscles recover from the workout that we've just done. So your cool down has to be slightly longer than your warm up. So for example, the stretches you saw me do on my warm up, they are usually around 10 seconds for a warm up, but during a cool down, you would want to be doing them for at least 30 seconds. For the, this workout, just chosen the exercises that work best for me. I do believe that there is a right and a wrong way to performing the exercises in terms of form, but I do think that all bodies come in different shapes and sizes and the way that I move might not be comfortable and the correct form for you. So I do feel like form can slightly differ between people. I think as long as we're being safe and we're lifting safely, just play around with your form at lower weights. Just see where you feel the movement most in your glutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you lots of new tips and tricks that you can use in your future workouts. And I hope it's been a good video despite me being a bit under the weather but please like and subscribe at the bottom if you want to see more content like this but yeah thanks guys see you later